Here you go, the world's most unlucky brewer. You're going for a beer again. And once again, something's not right. You pick the beer up, hold it up, stick your nose in it, and you get a prickly sensation right in the back of your nose. It's It can be almost painful at higher levels. You think, oh, well, I've, I've got to try it. I've spent all this time and money brewing it. You try it. And it's quite hot and harsh in your throat. You can feel it almost an unpleasant burning sensation. It's not very pleasant at all. It's extremely alcoholic, but not in the normal sense. Well, here, what we're talking about is fusel alcohols or higher alcohols. Let's find out a bit more about that. So how are you going to know if you've got fusel or higher alcohols in your beer? How's that described by people? What sort of things are they looking for and seeing? Well, it's often described as being quite harsh or solvent-like. Alcoholic, but not nicely. Hot. Or a prickly sensation in your nose. Where can you detect this fault? This one, like many, you can get in the aroma. You can taste it. And you will also be able to feel it in the mouthfeel of the beer. What's the details then? Well, ethanol is a two carbon molecule. And um, what's known as fusel or higher alcohols have at least three carbon molecules in their, in their makeup. It's a byproduct of the oxidation of amino acids or their metabolism by yeast. Stressed yeast can metabolize fatty acids passed through from the hot and cold break, which produces extra oxygen and carbon molecules, increasing the incidence of higher alcohols. Sugars can also be converted into acetate and then onto higher alcohols later on. Causes, by far the biggest and most common cause of issues with higher fusel alcohols are high fermentation temperatures. Higher is not always better. Wild yeast contamination, poor yeast management, or if you've got low oxygenation levels in your wort or, or low free amino nitrogen, you've normally got enough in the wort but if either of those are low, then that can cause or contribute to this problem. How do you avoid it? And yes, you do want to avoid it because it's not very pleasant and it will give you a nasty headache. Use suitable, suitable fermentation temperature for the selected yeast strain. If it says 18 to 20, don't ferment it at 30. Use proper pitching rates of good, healthy, fresh yeast. Pitch at appropriate temperatures and avoid stressing the yeast. So. Don't take your yeast out of the fridge and pitch it straight into 30C wort. Good sanitation will help prevent wild yeast infection. And then if all else fails, leave the beer to age longer as fusel alcohols will start to break down and reduce over time. So when is this appropriate in beer? What styles can you expect to see it in? None. It's never appropriate. You should never see this in a beer. Well, that's fusel alcohols. If you like that one and want to see more videos, remember to subscribe and I'll hope to see you on the next video.